Hi, today we're going to go ahead and make um, uh, potatoes gramolata. And gramolata is an Italian term used to describe a mixture of traditionally garlic, uh, parsley, and a little bit of lemon zest. Today we're going to be using uh, fingerling potatoes. And fingerling potatoes are obviously a smaller potato, so we can cook them quickly. So what I'm going to do with my fingerling potatoes is after they've been washed, I'm going to boil them in some water for about seven or eight minutes. While this is boiling, I'm going to show you how to make the uh, gremolata mixture that we're going to eventually put on top of this. And the gremolata mixture traditionally um, is an Italian of Italian descent. And what it really includes fundamentally is the zest of lemon, uh, fresh parsley, and garlic. We are going to be adding Parmesan cheese to it today as kind of a little bit of an extra flavor. So one thing we want to remember when we're zesting lemon is that um, <clears throat> the lemon has a couple different layers. It's got the outer layer, which is where we want to get the zest. That bright yellow is where all the oils, the essence of the lemon is. And it doesn't take much. If I take a real nice zester and I just kind of do a couple uh, strikes on it, you can kind of see how I took it down just a real thin layer. And then on my uh, zester, I've got the, the zest. <clears throat> I've got Parmesan cheese. I've got some uh, minced garlic. And I have some fresh minced parsley. So I'm going to take these ingredients and I'm going to go ahead and make my gremolata. So once all these ingredients are together, it's just a simple matter of combining. So this mixture is all ready to go, and we're going to set that aside. Our potatoes look like they're just about ready to be removed. So what I'm going to do is just strain them out. Now that we've pulled our potatoes out of the hot water, I've got a baking sheet here that we're going to uh, transfer our potatoes to. I've got some herb-infused olive oil, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just drizzle a little bit on there. And I'll actually use a potato to kind of smear it around. Now these potatoes are hot, so when I put them on there, if I wanted to crush them with my, or smash them with my hand, I could do it, but what would happen is I'd end up burning my hand. So I'm gonna take a um, dry measuring cup and just make sure, you can use a plastic one, you can use a metal one, just make sure it has a flat bottom. And what you can do is just press these down to where they kind of become little pancakes. Okay, so once my potatoes are um, uh, smashed, but not fully pulverized. We're ready to drizzle them with a little bit more of our olive oil, and we're gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven probably for about seven or eight minutes, and we're gonna give it a chance to get a nice little crust on it. Okay, so we've just pulled our potatoes out of the oven. Uh, they were in there about nine minutes, and as you can see, they've got a real nice kind of crust to them starting to form, and when you flip them over, you can even see that they're even a little crustier. So I'm just gonna kind of flip them. These are all flipped over. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them back in the oven for maybe two more minutes. And when we're done, we'll go ahead and sprinkle our gremolata topping and plate it up. So our potatoes spent one or, uh, one or two more minutes in the oven. And now that they've got a nice golden brown on both sides, they've got a little crunchiness to it. I am just gonna season it just a little bit. So then I'm just gonna go ahead, kind of layer them. The olive oil that's on the potatoes will also help the, the gremolata to um, stick. I've got my uh, gremolata mixture right here, and what I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little bit more on generously, and this will complete our, our uh, fingerling potatoes gremolata style. Chef's Menu is brought to you by the Culinary Studies Program at Phoenix College. For today's recipe, please visit this address. <laughs>